A lot of people are not aware themselves of how they come across to other people. Other people see it, but they don't see it themselves. It's really important to become self-aware. And, and, and self-aware means the tone of voice that you're using and how people are responding to that. The, the way you're communicating. Are, are people really clear? Are they understanding? Are you, are you building teamwork? What is happening? And sometimes you're in reaction. A lot of times we don't even know when we're having an emotional reaction. Somebody says something, you take it wrong, you take it personally, now all of a sudden you feel under attack. And then what you say and do from that point of view, are you really aware that you're having a reaction and you're lashing back or not? A lot of people just do it. They have the reaction, but they don't say, oh, I'm having a reaction, I need to calm down or whatever. And the, the best thing that you can do is to be able to focus on what's the outcome I'd like to get? What's the outcome that I want? And then what do I need to do to bring about that outcome? If you do that, you can override the reactions you have because most of the time when you have a reaction, it results in some form of self-sabotage. Self-aware people are, are, this is the beginning of emotional intelligence. It's interesting, I took an emotional intelligence test uh, uh, a while back. And when I first saw that they were offering it at this website, I thought, this is kind of crazy. How can you give somebody an emotional intelligence test? Because think about it. Emotional intelligence is about how you behave when you're emotionally stressed and emotions are washing over you. You take a test, it asks you questions. So I took the test. It says, okay, here's a scenario. This is going on and this is going on. What would you do? Well, I teach this stuff so I know what you're supposed to do. That doesn't necessarily mean that's what I do, especially if I'm emotionally upset. But I answered all the questions, and I got 100%. Now, my wife will tell you I am not 100% emotionally intelligent, especially when things happen and stuff. I react. We all react. And the whole thing about self-awareness is do you know when you're reacting? That's to start. You can't change it unless you're aware of it. So many times I see how she pushes my buttons, and then when my buttons are pushed, I see what I do. And, uh, you know, I was talking about the definition of insanity. I had a preacher told me one time, he said, if you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. It's another way of saying repeating the same behavior, expecting a different result is a definition of insanity. So I had certain behaviors. My marriage didn't work out. Got a divorce. I ended up marrying a woman with the same profile. <laughs> do I have the same tendencies to do the same thing? Yes. But I also know if I do the same things, I'll probably end up in the same place. Right? So then I catch myself all the time. Now, a lot of people get defensive if somebody tries to help them with their self-awareness. And I can say defensiveness is probably the biggest thing that, that if I could say to, that it is your enemy, it's your own defenses. Because people are trying to help you. Maybe they're not doing it in the right way, the way you would like it, at the time that you would like it. But any feedback you can get from somebody that helps you become self-aware is really helpful. If you get defensive, people stop telling you stuff. You don't want to be in that kind of situation. 